Okay, so this is what we will be making in this video. Here we go. Our pea soup container. Made a little mess. Hey YouTube! Uh, okay, at the same time that this particular video comes out, there's another video coming out on uh, a recipe and a little bit of history about uh, a substitute for herbs worst. There's a little bit of history about herbs worst in there as well. But uh, how a substitute for herbs worst came about in the United States that we can use uh, as a trail meal when doing our classic camping adventures. Uh, if you read all of the uh, early writers, they all talk about at the end of the lists that they give for uh, food that you should take camping for pounds of flour and pounds of those are those are lists made for more or less permanent camps okay semi-permanent camps base camps but there's always a list of dried foods that you can take for treks away from the camp and that's what we're making today okay it is the birth of modern day backpacking food okay now in that video I use cardboard tubes like this, okay, to put my uh, ingredients in. In this case, it is pea flour. Now, not verb. Uh, the great thing about these, this is a common form of, uh, of shipping container from the 20th century, all the way up until, oh, probably the late 1960s. Uh, these could be put in the mail with a mailing label on it, okay, and a postage stamp. Uh, what we're going to do with this video is we're going to show you how to make a reproduction, or actually a replica, of the packaging that uh, Abercrombie and Fitch would have used, might have used, in shipping their Herb's Worst Substitute. Okay, that's what this video does. It shows you how to make this. The labels that you will use for this, available free of charge at Bannerman's Camp Facebook page. It will be downloaded into the file section and you can upload it, print it on ivory paper, and use it to construct the tubes, the carry tubes, the shipping tubes, uh, when you go on your backpacking adventure, okay? Now, uh, by a happy accident, I did not plan this, but by a happy accident, the tubes that I bought for this, uh, and there will be a link uh, down in the comments about where to get these tubes, and there will also be in the instructions on how to make the labels uh, at, on the Bannerman's Camp page. But the, the lid is the perfect measure for making two cups of soup from the pea flour that we'll be using. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to take credit for that. It was an accident. It just worked out that way. Okay, also just to let you know on Bannerman's Camp page, I have got 15 of these cans. Okay, some of you might know that uh, in, in a previous life, I made reproductions for the World War I reenacting market. I am kind of retired from that. But when I make these videos, when I make my own stuff, okay, when I make my own uh, containers to carry my period 
camping food with. I always buy more than I'm actually going to need because I'm making videos and if I booger something up, I need an extra. Okay. So anytime I've got anything like that and I buy a wholesale quantity so that I can make a video or make my own thing, I'm going to be putting that out on, uh, on Bannerman's Camp for sale. It's not a permanent business. It's just me saying, hey guys, I've got 15 of these left. Who wants one? Okay, so go to Bannerman's Camp. If you are a member of Bannerman's Camp uh, and uh, you read the post that says these are available, just send me a private message. I'll let everybody know when I'm out. Okay, I think that I believe I've got these at $15 plus shipping. They come from Europe. They're kind of expensive. All right, let's take a look at how to make one of these. Alrighty, and we'll see you at the other end. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take an empty tube and you're going to take the top off of it. Okay, and then you're going to take some thread. I'm using a number 60 thread. This is the same thread that I use for all of my outdoor make your own gear projects. It's good stout thread. Run yourself off a good length of it. Okay, no need to measure it because you're going to cut it off anyway, but you need to have some laid out. You're going to lay that on there like that. Make sure you've got plenty laid out. And then you take some Elmer's glue. Now I do a lot of this artsy craftsy stuff so I've got a big bottle. But what you're going to do is you're going to take your Elmer's glue and you're going to dab it on there so that that piece of string will be glued to the body of the tube. Now all we got to do is wait for it to dry. Well, there they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve tubes ready for step one. Okay, the next step here is we're going to fill all twelve of my uh, tubes with pea flour. Now, not verb. In researching, I found that one plate of soup is equal to three quarters, between three quarters and a cup and a half of soup. The instructions on the Abercrombie and Fitch advertisement says that each one of these holds six plates of soup. So what we're going to do is we're going to use six cups as our uh, measuring. Okay, in other words, each one of these will hold six cups of soup. If you make a two cup meal, three meals will fit inside of one of these tubes. Okay, did I make any sense? I sure hope so. Uh, and through research I found out that using pea flour to make soup takes one tablespoon per cup. So I've just made a, a, a funnel out of a piece of paper here to kind of help me. And I'm going to spoon six tablespoons into each one of these tubes down here. Make it a level tablespoon. One. Two. Shake that just a little bit, get them all, make sure it's all out. Take a look, there you go. There is six tablespoons of pea flour. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place a lid on the filled tube. And I'm going to take the string and I'm going to go right here. Can you, can you see that? Right where the two comes together. And I'm going to 
embed that string in there and get it back there right to where I've got it glued down and come up. See how I've done that? And I'm going to take a piece of masking tape and tape that down. Okay, do that to all 12 of these. Make sure this is closed up tight. All 12 of these I'm going to do this to. All right, when that's done, we'll show you the final step. Okay, this is the last step. It's a little bit tedious. You're going to have to go a little slow. But what I've got is a, I printed my labels. Now, th this PDF file will be in the Bannerman's Camp file section on the Bannerman's Camp uh, Facebook page. Okay, And when this video goes live, these will already be in there. So you can go to Bannerman's Camp and you can download these and then buy your tubes get you some string, make you some pea soup. Now, not burp. Okay, so, I take my pea soup label, turn it upside down, and we want to use spray adhesive. We don't want to use a Mod Podge or Elmer's glue or something like that. Uh, these can be susceptible to moisture. They will expand and pop if they get too wet. So we're going to take the safe course and we're going to use the spray uh, so that we don't get it wet. Just going to spray the back of that. And then I'm going to lay this down. and make sure that I don't catch my my masking tape in it. I'm just going to lay this down and roll it up. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have captured the string and I have covered up the joint between the lid and the tube. Okay, now we just set that aside and let it dry. Well, there you go, it's an easy project and uh, I'll tell you to keep mine away from moisture uh, I am going to put them in uh, seal and meal packages suck all the air out of it and put it in the freezer, okay? Uh, when you get these, it's going to come in a bag of 12. There will be some desiccant packages in there. That's because if these get damp, uh, they'll fall apart. Okay, Keep them protected from moisture. The label does a little bit of that. Uh, the label gives you some nominal protection for atmospheric moisture getting inside and spoiling the contents. But it's not 100%. Just like it just like in 1916. How about that? What a, what a concept. Okay, so anyway, keep these in a cool, dry place. Now, you're going to get 12 of them, and you may notice in that video that I said I was going to fill all 12 of my tubes. Okay, I failed to do the math. Okay, I got four tubes out of a one-pound package of pea flour. Okay, if you want to fill all 12 tubes, get three packages. Okay, but if you've got four packages of pea flour, pea soup, saved up in a cool, dry place, you'll have plenty of food for uh, classic camping, backpacking adventures, and you'll be able to use these tubes for other dried foods. Okay, make your own label. Okay. Uh, you can take uh, craft paper and wrap it around the joint here, leaving some s the string hanging out. Slap a mailing label on there with your address and the address of a vendor. Uh, put dried vegetables, desiccated eggs, 
powdered milk, whatever, uh, in here. This is a this is this is the plastic bag of 1960. Okay, treat it that way. All righty. Uh, Golly gee, I guess that's all I got to say. We'll see you down the trail.